Yeah, dude. She's crazy. I don't know about that. That's kind of stigmatizing to say. Huh? What's the stigma? I heard the word stigma, but also never knew what it was until recently. Mental health in my family was never talked about much because it was seen as a weakness. We were taught to never share our business with others because nobody should see or hear you struggle. You know, you always think that if something is going on with your mind, that society is going to label you. And that's a stigma. All of this prevents us from accepting our struggles and getting help. But I think that getting help means you're strong. Like, we are all so critical of ourselves. It takes everybody time to feel like they want to open up, but you shouldn't judge yourself or your friends and family. I mean, it's true. Anyone can have mental health challenges, no matter if you're male or female or non-binary or black, white, Latinx, or you know, your sexuality, religious beliefs, age, or how much money you have. Anyone can struggle, even I've struggled. Yeah, and stigma is often what stops you from getting help. Because like, you might think that you'll be treated differently or face discrimination if you admit that you're struggling. But like, don't be too hard on yourself. Nobody is weak for struggling. It's hard because I got stereotypes from my family traditions, intergenerational trauma, my religion, social media, just to name a few. It's like what you said, I feel like it turned into shame or like a self stigma. I like started to think negatively about myself for struggling with mental health when I did. After I came to terms with the fact that I wasn't doing well, that I was worried about myself, I reached out for support. And I know it's not the same for everyone, but my friends supported me. They offered to go to group sessions with me, or gave me a ride and told me that it didn't change how they thought of me. I didn't expect them to react that way because we don't have these type of conversations, you know? But I'm glad I said something. I'm still having conversations with my family. Maybe they'll come around when they know more. We can get rid of stigma by taking care of ourselves and encouraging each other to do the same. I think mental and physical wellness are similar, but mental pain isn't always visible. If someone has the flu or a broken bone, we don't judge or blame them. We encourage them to take care of themselves. It should be the same for mental health. 100%. But yeah, stigma is everywhere. It's on the media and on TV, but also in the language we use, like you calling that girl crazy or someone saying, you'll get over it. That stuff can affect people negatively. It can cause bullying and it can make someone believe that they'll never recover or that they're a worse person somehow, which is just not true. Getting help for your mental health doesn't define who you are or change your ability to be independent. It means that you're able to find solutions in healing. You're right. I guess what I meant to say is that she doesn't seem like herself, that something is different and I am concerned. Yeah, that sounds better. The words we use matter. They can affect if someone feels comfortable talking about their challenges. I'd say that if someone reaches out to you for support, make sure they know that you're there for them and that this doesn't change how you think of them. When people understand what mental health is, that mental health doesn't change who you are as a person, then stigmas won't have such an impact on our community. Anyways, I'm glad we had this conversation. I'm always here to talk.